Hey everyone, what's happening? This is Swish, and just now, I got some really terrible news. Some of you may have already heard this, but it seems Marquise Chris has broken his right leg and is out for the season. I saw that he was on the injury list earlier this morning for what seemed like a minor leg injury, but then it was updated and it turned out he had a broken leg. <sighs> Man, this is so unfortunate. I really hope he's able to make a full recovery because he's just 23 years old and very young. This kid hasn't even hit his best years yet, so I hope he's able to pull together. I've always been a big fan of his and was happy when he was signed by the Warriors last year. When they waived him, I was a bit surprised because I thought he was doing very well, but I was excited when he was re-signed. I was kind of expecting him to. He's been a really good spark off the bench for the team and they will definitely be missing him off the bench. I'm really shocked by this because the Warriors can't seem to avoid this injury bug. It isn't something you can plan for and there's no other way around it. I feel terrible for Chris. I mean, he's put in so much work and time and to know that he won't be able to contribute in any way to the team this year is probably devastating. Now, as for the Warriors, and this is awful. As for the Warriors, it would be in their best interest to apply for another disabled player exception and try to find another backup center. I mean, we, we can't go in with Looney as the only backup center. We'll end up playing small ball with Draymond as the backup center for most of the year and having Pascal coming off the bench for Wiseman. Looney hasn't been able to stay healthy and hasn't looked very good for us this year, so I don't expect him to be able to come off the bench and provide what Chris had been. A second option is Tyson Chandler is a free agent, so he's still available for the Warriors to sign if we want to get some size. Though I have to admit, I haven't been a big fan of his game and he's not young to say the least. As a matter of fact, I'm quite sure he'd be the oldest player on our roster this year if the Warriors were to sign him. He would however provide some size in the absence of Wiseman and provide some defense but we would definitely need those guys on the wings to start making their shots if we ever hope to have a non-shooting center be useful on this roster. A third option the Warriors have is to recall Caleb Wesson from the G League. As some of you know, he was recently waived by the Warriors, so he could come back up at least temporarily to support the Warriors squad. I think this is the most preferable option. This is what I would actually like to see. I don't see it happening for this game versus the Bulls though, but there's certainly enough time for it to happen by the time we play the Pistons on Tuesday. Even though Chris didn't have a starting spot, he had an excellent opportunity this year to build up his stock and provide a competent scoring backup role behind Wiseman. This could have easily been a breakout year for him. He was showing signs of maturing and he was carving out his role with this team. I mean, he said he feels like he wants to make the Warriors his home, so to lose a player like that at the start of the season, th this is really bad. And considering the amount of promise he was showing, we're definitely not going to be able to pick up another center that can provide that amount of talent for that for half his salary for the disabled player exception. So that's the kind of quagmire we're in as Warriors right now, and it's very unfortunate. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I don't know, what do you guys think will happen? How do you think this will affect the Warriors' performance? Do you think there's anyone else that I missed that we could potentially sign that could be good? Let me know all this and we can talk about it. Till next time. Swish.